Welcome back to In Development. Last episode, my SSD died with a month of progress on it. And this episode, I will finish remaking everything that I lost, except for the map, starting with my sword weapon component, which is what allows you to attack with the sword. The reason I'm revisiting the weapon component is because I now have more motion captured attack animations, which means I can complete the combo instead of reusing the same animation twice. And this is how it looks with all three animations together. I made the thrust always go towards the crosshair, as without that it is very hard to aim, as once you start the combo you cannot rotate your character. Of course, the animations could use some improvement, but as of now I'm quite happy with the results. And with that, it's time for me to head to bed, as it is past my bedtime of 7.30. Today is a Saturday, and I have already finished sheathing and unsheathing, which I definitely understood how to do and wasn't blindly stumbling about until I fixed my code. The animations aren't very snappy, but in my honest and unbiased opinion, I think it looks pretty good. However, there is a slight issue with the fact that the only thing you can currently equip is a sword, so I shall now work on making the pickaxe and axe equipable, able to, able to be equipped. And I did just that. You can now equip your comically large pickaxe and axe, because I clearly don't understand how scale works. Everything is now fixed and working as it should. And now that you can hold them, you can now attack with them. I'm reusing the sword animations, which doesn't make sense, as you cannot really effectively thrust with a pickaxe or an axe. But other than that, the axe can chop down trees, the pickaxe can destroy rocks and metal nodes, and the sword cannot do anything now, as I have made it unable to cut down trees and destroy rocks, and there are no enemies yet, so naturally, my next step is to go to bed. Good night. It is now tomorrow, or more specifically Sunday, and I just modeled a house. It's got a little blacksmith area underneath, and living quarters for the blacksmith up top. I intend to spice up the design in the future, like adding planks and stone bricks instead of just flat cubes and rectangular prisms, but for now I'm happy with it, so let's put it in the game. Here it is in game, and it's not too bad. So now that I have a house for the blacksmith, I want to make a little dialogue tree so that you can actually talk to him, as I've previously made the framework for the dialogue trees, but I'm yet to actually make one of those trees. So I'll do that now. And now you can talk to this cube, which is pretending to be a blacksmith. When you ask to see his shop, it just resets the tree as I haven't coded the shop yet. But other than that, you have a few dialogue options and can even ask if he has a quest for you. And that has inspired me to actually work on the quest system, but that will have to wait, as that is all I can do today. So I've been working on the quest system for a couple hours now, and I'm running into countless problems. When I set the quest active, I then check all active quests and it comes up empty. So I changed my method and now add the quest into an active quests array. Now that this is working, what the blacksmith will say changes depending on if the quest is in that array or not. And if it is in the active quests array, he will ask you if you have what he needs. This final check is in case you, say, accidentally click on the quest instead of the shop, and you don't want to lose that 15 copper to the quest because you are going to, say, craft some weapons with them. But now I actually need to make it so that he can take the items if you say that you have them. It has been two days and three mental breakdowns, but I now have the quest system entirely working. It checks if you have the quest active, and it checks if you have the correct items in your inventory, and if you do, it completes the quest and takes those items. There is one slight issue, which is even if you complete the quest, the blacksmith always says you didn't have enough, and it takes all your items anyway, which is pretty funny. But it's still completing the quest, it's just saying the wrong line, so I'll fix that and then it'll be done. And the amazing thing about this is that it's completely modular. I can do the exact same thing for all my quests and it will just work, which is fantastic progress for my game. And now that I've fixed that bug and he says the correct thing, thanks for watching and have a good day.